also at 11, a public compressed natural gas station is coming to Fairborn. The fueling station will be built on East Dayton Yellow Springs Road near the intersection of Trabine. Alexa Ashwell joins us now live with the details. Mark, Katie, Fairborn City Council members passed the resolution 5-2, meaning Vectron can now go forward in building a public compressed natural gas facility. Representatives with Vectron argued this could put Fairborn on the map, but not all residents were sold. After hours of discussion, the majority of Fairborn City Council members passed a resolution allowing Vectron to build a public compressed natural gas facility on East Dayton Yellow Springs Road. Many residents, like Dave Lower, who live near the facility, expressed their concerns before a decision was made. I can't see how it couldn't affect property values. When you have an industrial type facility next to the kind of houses that we have paid for over the years. Concerns were also brought up about its location and potential growth. Residents are concerned increased traffic will cause unwanted noise. The facility will be located near Trayvon Road, and residents fear customers will access it from 235 and not use 675 to East Dayton Yellow Springs Road. Residents also fear it will expand. My major concern is highway safety, um, and I think that if Vectron have said it's a phase one, how do they decide whether to uh, go for a phase two? They can't really quantify the demand. A representative with Vectron argued it doesn't have a desire to grow and estimated 10 vehicles would use the facility daily. Colleen Ryan also reasoned a CNG is safer, more cost efficient, and supports where the industry and the state of Ohio are headed. She believes the city of Fairborn made the best decision. I think this is a great step forward for Fairborn when it comes to green and innovation and attracting businesses that, that makes a, a lot of importance too. Now, construction should begin on the facility midsummer and is expected to be completed in the fall. Reporting live in Fairborn, Alexa Ashwell, 2 News.